Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. Hey, I'm going to get you out to the notification game, Key Talk Game for Rocket with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and hit a notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyway, so it looks like Meek Mill has finally responded to the rumors. You know, uh, publications, major publications had actually came out and they said that Meek Mill, well, that Diddy threw a party for none other than Meek Mill. And he said that it was, they said it was pretty much bloody sheets, lubrication everywhere and a whole lot of razors, like hundreds of hundreds of razors and just all type of wild, crazy stuff was going on, right? Well, typically Meek was the one that was, well, he would speak his mind, but he was kind of sitting back lot as well but now meek mill is striking back and he does believe that this is 100 proof that he's been targeted now here's what i will say right uh i, I definitely believe that meek mill done pissed off some of the wrong people some of the higher up people that do control a lot of the uh that can do control a lot of a lot of everything pretty much right now with him pissing those people or it could just so look these are the two things either this is publication came out and the people from the hotel actually just came out and said this for truthfully or to get clout or he really have pissed off a lot of the higher up people based off his attitude and stuff, how he's treated people within the music industry that have a lot of power, uh, that do have relationships with blogs and, and whoever else, right? So uh, now with that being said, I'm going to actually show y'all what Meek Mill had to say about uh, the publications coming out and saying that. Because Meek Mill's tired of it. He don't want to go for it no more. He's about ready to just, uh, you know, do as best that he can. Because not much you can do. You can't really defeat the media. Unfortunately, you know, if you're a rapper or whatever like that, you can't beat the media. It's just it is what it is, right? Uh, but Meek Mill has now came out and he said, none of these publications are owned by black men posting things to destroy the names, brands, and the culture. I'm going to stand on this. I know it's somebody behind this. I'm going to start a war behind it, too, when I find out. So here's what we'll say, right? Unfortunately, it's very easy to, if you want to say, destroy the culture because a lot of the music is about sliding and killing each other, right? It's easy for anybody else to see. So look, there's something called divide and conquer. The hip hop music is already a dividing force because it's all about sliding, killing, and all type of other wild stuff. And for those people that be like, well, that ain't how it started. It started... We don't care. It, it is what it is now. Huh? A lot of sliding, killing. The youth is doing that sliding, killing music, and they actually going to slide and kill. Right? It's super easy to control a group of people that are out killing themselves. That's just the truth of the matter, right? So when he says destroy the culture, the culture is already destroyed by the music. If you really want to know the truth, right? Uh, and also, uh, the figures that are in it aren't aren't as uh, not as big, but they aren't as positively influential as you may think as well right uh because they, you 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 all have to participate in also the spreading of the sliding the killing the drug the drug dealing all the type of music you have to spread that stuff right and it just it is what it is at the end of the day because everybody's in it getting their paper but i will say that yes i think meek mill is definitely on he definitely on the target list of getting targeted uh but does that mean that it's gonna stop no does that mean that 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 uh anything will happen no it's just not gonna happen it's gonna continue to happen for as long as meek mill's alive he will be on that list because they hate him whoever it is hates meek mill and also the fans as well find everything that meek mill do as a joke even this right here watch i'm gonna read the comments after this and i guarantee you you are gonna see people agreeing with me but majority is gonna be jokes and Meek Mill because somehow, some way, the internet hates Meek Mill. And does Meek Mill play a part of the internet not liking him? Yes, because in it, in, Meek Mill isn't like an internet person, right? The, the people of the internet think Meek Mill is just, um, they just think he's not smart at all, right? That's that's what they think about him. But let's just, even though, yes, he has done um, help get laws changed and stuff like that. But, of course, a lot of people like that, if you're smart enough, you know, they use figureheads for this type of stuff, right? And if you know what a figurehead is, you may want to go research and look that up. But anyways, this is what Meek Mill also had to say. Just think about it. You are waking up to a bunch of non-black owned publications posting major lies about me where all the PR people go that was around me. OK, so now he's kind of putting a name onto it. He believes that the PR people that are around him are the ones that are actually spreading the lies about him now. Right. Go. That was around me. Everybody see what's going on. I'm not going to be quiet. It's war on black men. Well, yeah, I will say war on black man, but specifically it's a war on Meek Mill. It's, it's specifically is, hey, 
this guy Meek Mill, he was over. Uh, uh, who knows what he did? He knows what's going on behind the scenes. But that's not to say that some of the stuff that the people saying aren't true. Uh, and that's also not to say that it's a combination of both. You know, what I'm talking about we don't know. We just from the outside looking in. Frankly, we don't care. We just want to be entertained. This is the internet. The internet don't care about your emotions, your feelings. That people are maybe attacking you or something like that. People may pretend they do, but it's the internet, bro. We're just trying to be entertained on the internet. And unfortunately, when it comes to entertainment on the internet, Meek Mill just happens to be the butt of the joke for the majority of the jokes that are actually on him. Right? There's absolutely no way that Meek Mill. There's nothing Meek Mill can say that will be able to disassociate himself from Diddy on the internet because the internet just automatically think that together from the matching clothes to whatever else it may be right so it's it's, it's a hard road for Meek Mill uh, but at least he rich and got money right but also rich and having money won't stop him from being depressed and having to take you know pills or whatever it may be in order to help him with depression or whatever it may be but again just to be honest the internet doesn't care it they literally don't the internet's full of trolls right and he also had one more thing to say. He said, when I see page six post something, it gives me a bad vibe. Go back two years ago. They posted only good McMill news. I know how these things work. Like what just happened with Mike Tyson? Show his out get him beat by young white kid come on it's mockery so you can definitely say it's a form of mockery um and, and this is the gift and the curse of whenever you become a big famous rapper right you're gonna be used you have to speak the you know talking about talk that music talk the music that's gonna uh, uh hurt the community or whatever maybe whether it's killing drugs selling all that right and then when you're done and you're used up nobody cares about you anymore especially the people that put you in a position to where you can get spread it to the masses because the very people that was spreading you to the masses in whatever positive light or the same people is going to spread you to the masses in whatever negative light you believe as well. I mean, you're, you think that you're in as well. It's the same people that control it all. So, I mean, it is what it is. You were here for the glory days to get the good fruits. And now it's kind of like they, they say it gets great. It gets it gets uh, better later or something like that. Well, his thing is getting worse later. Right. He will in the glory, the, the, the dreams and nightmares, dropping this sign there. Da, da, da. And now. It's just getting worse and worse for him as far as the media goes, right? Because, you know, everybody's against him. Uh, but not only is everybody against him, there's not a lot of sympathy for Meek Mill based off stuff that he's actually done as well. He's talking about the white people like this. But the very fact that he got that video of doing the bunny hopping, it just doesn't help the case. It doesn't make people feel sorry for him at all, right? It's like there's a lot of injustices that's actually going on in the world. But people are like, okay, why are you just caring when it's an injustice about you? Why aren't you caring when it's an injustice this or that or that? Why is it just when something goes viral or something like that? But And and who knows where his mind is actually at, right? But that's just how the internet views it. Personally, me, I don't give a care about none of these people, none of this at all. Not the news, not the meeks, not the rappers, not none of these people. I just report on it because it's just entertaining to report, and I like to report on news. But in all actuality, I don't worship rappers. I don't look up to rappers. I may have this look right here, but I don't care about none of this at all. I'm an educated person. I don't care about none of this. Do you want to be real with me? Anyways, now uh, let me just get back to the topic, right? So I'm going to go to the comment section, and once I go to the comment section, I want to read y'all the comments of people replying to me, Mill, and I'm telling y'all right now. I'm willing to bet most of these are going to be dissing Meek Mill. Why? Because the internet literally clowns them for everything. It doesn't matter if any good or bad they're going to clown, right? So it says, pull the race car, but it's always on his knees for Michael Rubin. See? Next comment. Yo, Meek, go play with Michael Rubin. Meek the truth. Don't matter when they're a lot more entertaining. You haven't learned yet? Nah, pulling a race car isn't going to pull you out of this, Meek. Cheek Mills want his baby daddy back so hard. Ain't no black activist. Why would they uh, conspire against him? One day he's saying no Diddy. The next day he wants war with blogs, writers that aren't black. Get a grip. You deserve it, daddy. Oh, dang. They said that in that Diddy voice, I can tell. This is algorithm. Diddy diddled Meek's brain into mush. Every couple of days, Freak Mills gets triggered by the allegations against him and randomly starts uh, with the Twitter finger. So there's no way Meek Mill can accept this. And absolutely no way at all. Uh, it's like, like I say, I always say y'all like, unfortunately, well, not for me, but for y'all, or for me, pretty much, he'll never be able to look at it as like a figure like a Jay-Z, right? Not to say that Jay-Z ain't got some stuff coming for him as well, but he, like, 
Meek will never be able to be looked at as as respected as Jay Z. Maybe in the streets. Actually, I don't know though. I, I gotta ask y'all. Do y'all think that'll actually happen? Me personally, I don't know and I don't care. But as far as looking at from the internet point of view, the internet will never be able to give him that type of respect that maybe he believes he deserves, and maybe other people believe he deserves because they just don't like him. He's not a likable person. That's what it seems like from the music industry side to the internet side. He just doesn't seem like he's a likable person. Like I said, I don't care at all. I'm just telling y'all what I observe and what. I see actually on the internet but yes the majority of these comment sections literally just roasting me meal uh, and, I, and I knew that before I seen it. it's a war on black men though I will definitely say that there are some um, things against black men that are definitely not positive and also um, used to destroy and monetary gain it's in the history you can literally read I read a lot of history so I know a lot of the history you can read the history too and see what's going on uh, but also a level of accountability has to be taken as well because it can change the system. Yes, there's a system against black men, but if there was some type of organizing, pushing out the bad and stuff like that, it could actually be changed. For instance, you would have to cut them. This is just a simple, simple thing. You would have to actually cut the music about killing, drug dealing, all this type of stuff. Why? Because that's the most influential thing, especially to the black youth. Maybe not to the older black people, but to the black youth, that's what's inspirational. The black youth is looking up to these rappers to be their leaders and stuff like that. Luckily, I'm old enough to know that rappers aren't leaders. I mean, uh, or I, I just look at them as entertainers. I don't look at them as nothing. No, I wouldn't get my political views from a rapper. I dang sure wouldn't take no political views for rapper. I, a, a rapper's endorsement for any president would never influence me to go for that president because a rapper influenced it. Bro, I don't look at rappers as, I don't even look at rappers as like just, bro, I don't know. And let me not get into all that. But that's just what I have to think about that and what I've said about that. Uh, just everybody got to have your own brain, your own mind, fam, honestly, inside of this stuff. And quit looking at rappers as like uh, leaders. Look at them as just entertainers. You know, I'm about, nobody else looks at their, at their, uh, singers and stuff like that. It's just their ultimate leaders. No, go find you some, you know, somebody depending on what you want to do. You know, somebody, uh, but unfortunately, that's just how it is within the community anyway. So now aside from Meek Mill going through what he's going through right now, uh, which I did, I felt I gave a fair assessment. I did say, yeah, Meek Mill probably is targeted, but it's probably based off stuff that he's done in the past and people just don't like him. Right. Uh, now, some better news coming out for YNW Melly. They're actually saying that YNW Melly, uh, the judge said he's probably going to be getting out on uh, December the 6th or sometime around December if the prosecution or the sheriffs can't show a cause while the rap star shouldn't be released, right? So he's been in there for like six years and now the judge is finally saying, wait, he's just in here. His trial was a mistrial. Why, you know, why are we holding him? Give me a good reason to keep him and I'll keep him. Now, of course, YNW Melody is alleged to have unalived two of his best friends. You know, somebody had each other's name tatted on them or something like that. I don't know. But either way it goes, he allegedly unalived them right now. This is what they're actually saying. I'm gonna read, I want y'all to actually be able to see this. Give me just a second. So it says, YNW Melody's fight for freedom has taken a critical turn as a federal judge demands Broward County officials explain why the rapper should remain behind bars and claims of inhumane condi jail conditions. The Miami Herald broke the news following, excuse me, uh, following a new order filed on November 18th, U.S. District uh, Judge Melissa Damien has ordered the Broward Sheriff's Office to respond by December 6th to accusations that the South Florida artist is being held in degrading and unconstitutional circumstances. Melly born Jamal Demis is facing the death penalty for allegedly murdering two close friends in 2018 in a 12-page lawsuit filed earlier this month. The rapper asserts he, was in, he has endured near total isolation, denied access to his family, Family and legal team and subjected to conditions that his attorney describes as shocking to inhumane decency right now we do have to put this out there the reason why they have him so isolated because allegedly he tried to jailbreak he literally tried to break out of jail with his lawyers is what they claim right it's documented right uh, and that's i think that's the excuse they're using to have him so sectioned out from everybody else uh now and we continue reading it, though. It does say uh, the lawsuit alleges multiple uh, constitutional violations, including the deprivation, the right to legal counsel, which means they're not letting him actually see his lawyers, which is absolutely insane because 
I don't care how much trouble you get into. They should always allow you to see a lawyer. But they did say that his lawyer was conspiring with him to try to break him out of jail to give him a key. Like I said, I did a video on that. It's all back in the past. And that's why they're able to do what they're actually doing. Uh, but it also says uh, the privation of the right to legal counsel and basic human treatment. According to his attorney, Michael A. Pitzel Jr., uh, Melly has spent much of the past three years in solitary confinement without phone privileges or contact with his loved ones, including his mother. Uh, these restrictions are not tied to any legitimate security concerns, uh, said they are. So he's saying it's not tied to any security concerns, which means it's not about him trying to uh, do any jailbreak. They are punitive measures aimed at breaking Melly's mental health and obstructing his ability to prepare for trial. The situation reportedly worsened following allegations. Oh, yep, follow allegations of an escape in 2022, which led to the stricter enforcement measures. Right. So the lawyer who is supposed to fight for Melly, he's coming and saying, "Listen, they're only doing this. They're only letting Melly uh, in solitary confinement. I let me talk to him. His family talk to him." just to try to break Melly down mentally while on the other hand the 12 of them they like no 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 we ain't just trying to break him down mentally he tried to break out of here and y'all tried to help him so that's why we are gonna keep him in solitary confinement and that's pretty much kind of what we're well, not kind of that is what they're actually saying right now but if we do continue uh, let's see what this meek mill says meek Mill denounces that sentence over. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, Melly, who maintains his innocence, let me actually pause this one second. Okay, Melly, who maintains his innocence, stands accused of orchestrating the murders of Anthony uh, Williams and Christopher Thomas Jr., childhood friends uh, and fellow members of YNW Melly. So that, and also, that's why a lot of people don't really have a lot of sympathy for YNW Melly because they're like, bro, you killed your own friends. Like, of course, people is bringing it to the attention of the world that he's inside of some sort of inhumane conditions but i don't see a lot of sympathy for melly actually i see a lot of people saying like he shouldn't have killed his friend but now i will say over time i have seen more and more people actually saying free melly because i made a post about it on my instagram uh, at key talk media and i'm gonna let y'all know uh let's go to the comments actually which i have to say right so the first comment says melly coming home but murder man yes free that man six years no evidence and i gotta read the comments of this because i know people are gonna be saying all right facts bro shot his best friend point blank in the face and then shot the other one and tried to tamper with the crime scene to make it look like a drive-by i think he need to stay up where he's at just being honest facts if he ain't got proven guilty yet why should he stay deal with facts not opinions bro doesn't need to tamper with evidence if he's innocent his trial keeps getting put on hold because him and Bortland tried to threaten witnesses you sound like a stand-up individual my guy he tampered with the evidence multiple times bro stupid as hell no evidence what trial did you watch had to be watching something else on the hood they got that man dead wrong multiple times on oh, my mama what he talking about no evidence left so he must have been watching the wrong trial this should be interesting yes he home free him i could have sworn they said they're not letting him out because he tried to escape they definitely did uh but you know over time the judge rules all right every time i see people say free a killer it reminds me why they chose uh barnabas over christ crazy world so free someone who smoked his friend when it's world war three because people are just getting dumber for real you can't free everyone if he smoked your family you wouldn't be saying this because he's a rapper melly coming so you know there's always a difference of opinion on whether people want buddy to come home or not uh, but hey man listen we'll see man we'll see how the court system work if the court system say buddy ain't do it then buddy ain't do it you know somebody but if the court system say buddy did it then buddy did it so we don't have to see what the court system has to say and they already made their opinion they said hey listen man i'm giving the sheriff the, the broward county sheriff to uh december the 6th to let me know why we should keep them and if y'all can't let me know why we should keep them get on up out of here melly you're free to go but of course he's, he do i'm gonna have another trial though it's not like he's free to go and he's just free free but hey man at least he'll be out and able to do whatever he think he can do and also it didn't help him that the ynw Borland guy was trying to like allegedly write down the names of witnesses what they look like all type of wild crazy stuff and speaking of that we got to see what's happening on the ynw melody uh ynw Borland side of the trial as well anyways let me know some comment down below let me know what you think about this entire deal i'm out